Year 1280, Taran Arion becomes the seventh king and eighth ruler of Numenor. Year 1350 to 1400, so great became Sauron's hold on the Gwythi Mir Dain, that at length he persuaded them to revolt against Galadriel and Celeborn, and to seize power in Erigion. Galadriel thereupon left Eregion and passed through Khazadum to Lothlorien, taking with her Amroth and Celebrion. But Celeborn would not enter the mansions of the dwarves, and he remained behind in Eregion, disregarded by Celebrimbor in Lothlorien. Galadriel took up rule and defense against Sauron. Year 1394, Tar Surion, son of Tar, Anarion, the eighth king and ninth ruler of Numenor. Year 1500, the elven smiths instructed by Sauron reach the height of their skill. They begin the forging of the rings of power. Sauron himself departed from Eregion about the year 1500, after the Gwythi Mir Dain had begun the making of the rings of power. Year 1556, Tar Telperion becomes the second queen and tenth ruler of Numenor. She was long lived, for the women of the Numenorians had the longer life or laid down their lives less easily, and she would wed with no man. Year 1590, the three rings are completed in Eregion. Now these were the three that had last been made, and they possessed the greatest power. Naria, the red ring, the ring of fire, set with ruby. Nenya, the white ring, the ring of water, set with adamant or diamond. Vilya, the blue ring, the ring of air, set with sapphire. Year 1600, Sauron forges the One Ring in Oro Druin. Now the elves had made many rings, but secretly Sauron made one ring to rule all the others, and their power was bound up with it, to be subject wholly to it, and to last only so long as it too should last. And much of that strength and will of Sauron passed into that One Ring, for the power of the elven rings was very great, and that which should govern them must be a thing of surpassing potency. And Sauron forged it in the mountain of fire in the land of shadow, and while he wore the one ring, he could perceive all things that were done by means of lesser rings, and he could see and govern the very thoughts of those that wore them. As soon as Sauron set the one ring upon his finger, the elves were aware of him, and they knew him, and perceived he would be master of them and of all they wrought. Then in anger and fear they took off their rings. Now Celebrimbor was not corrupted in heart or faith, but had accepted Sauron as what he posed to be. And when he at length discovered the existence of the One Ring, he revolted against Sauron and went to Lothlorien to take counsel once more with Galadriel. They should have destroyed all the rings of power at this time, but they failed to find the strength. Galadriel counseled him that the three rings of the elves should be hidden, never used, and dispersed far from Eregion, where Sauron believed them to be. It was at that time she received Nenya, the White Ring, from Celebrimbor, and by its power, the realm of Lothlorien was strengthened and made beautiful. Celebrimbor followed Galadriel's counsel that the Ring of Air and the Ring of Fire should be sent out of Eregion, and he entrusted them to Gilgalad in Linden. As soon as Gilgalad began to fear that Sauron would come with open war into Eriador, he sent messages to Numenor, and on the shores of Linden, the Numenorians began to build up a force and supplies for war. Exurge Tolkien, Secundum Tolkien, Counter the Rings of Power, Heresy Eternum. This concept is copyrighted 2024 by Novus Renaissance, the home of the supernatural fantasy series Dor Var Dor and its lost legends and sagas of pre-flood Earth. Come and join us on an epic adventure and discover our books, music, merch, and the inspiration of your imagination.